Hey, what's going on everyone? It's pre Kamer here. So I'm going to be going over these two uh, revive alternation kits over here. We got the uh, Barbado Lupus over here uh, before he beat uh, Hashmaw. So after he beat Hashmaw, he got the little um, tail bit. What do you what do you call that thing? I forgot what it's called, but uh, after that it became Lupus Rex. But uh, And then last but not least, we have the Gundam over here. So we're going to quickly talk about how good they are. Um, I have all the stats up in the probably in the right hand side um so we we will first start off the um lupus over here um the stat is uh, not too good you can say um it's not gonna boost any of the shooting by any means it's not gonna make it into the top 20 uh but in terms of the melee um stat um after adding onto the change gear it's looking pretty good um the melee weapon is probably gonna be the sell selling points but do let's do take a look at the head over here uh, what do we have over here? We have the is that how you pronounce it? Uh, Aya Vinyada? Uh, I'm sure <laughs> that's how you pronounce it, but this is uh, another one of that awakening skills over here. So it's gonna buff your uh, speed by 20% and also gonna buff your melee attack by 49%. You will grant uh, non flinch for that time being, so probably for that, for that 44 seconds, which is good. So if you take a look at it at base level one over here is going to be effective for 25 seconds uh, pretty good melee buff over there just at level one at 40 this is pretty good that is a pretty sizable buff but would you want to sacrifice the head um the stat is not looking too bad for like the melee um uh, stat obviously and then you have pretty good war tag i would say right there so uh but then again if you guys um so this banner right here is probably the third time that came back um so originally i don't remember when it was the exact date this uh, banner initially came out but I know the revive version came out um, during the time uh, they had that one campaign called um, spend 1500 horrors and then you get 1500 back um, it was like thing it was like a four weeks period thing four weeks period um, they dropped three of the Gundam battle festival banner as well as one Sokai this banner over here is a Gundam festival banner it has a 71% back then so and then it was a guaranteed part so if you guys did pull it back then uh you need the alternation tool to pick one of these part over here this is what we're talking about right now um it's kind of use not kind of useless. it's the rate is really bad right now if you want to summon it just to get one of these part i don't really recommend uh summoning it right now because um but do wait to see if they're gonna drop anything tomorrow um because they do like to drop some surprise banner so that's why i'm doing is doing this um, part reveal right before a potential new banner dropping so um this one if you just purely looking for the stat buffs over here i think there's a lot more better option um good word chat nonetheless but like i said there are plenty of good option at this point in time so there's really no point of like summoning on that for the banner just to, oh i want to get the head over here um so moving on to the chest over here um i personally do have the chest and um the portrait is really really promising uh, the stat are as follows well coming gonna come in a rank night which is not too bad in the top 10 which is <laughs> really excellent already um let's do take a look at the word tag excellent pair of word tag over here you have close combat and pro tag and then look at this portrait over here so when you are uh, when you have pro tag active ex skill cooldown reduced by 20 percent this is important right here um this is like the general cooldown for like any of the ex skills so this is really really powerful and then second portrait melee power boosted by 35 percent this is probably um definitely one of the best portrait in this unit over here um i personally have it at level two so i'm gonna get that seven percent but if you guys have this at max like if you want to alternate it i wouldn't oppose to that but there are some free option to it um you have over here we're gonna quickly do a sidetrack um you have the big alternation for the xc over here uh let's see yeah that's the same thing but this one is conditioned to only t attribute so if you guys are okay with running like t attribute um, this can be a good option for you as well there is another one down over here we have the astray red frame this one right Collect. okay the chest over here is, is the same thing um this one is geared to if you have any fighter job you get the initial uh you get the exq crew down by 20 percent they're all same thing these two are just free to play option over here because you can pick them up from the um what is it the center standard capsule pool standard uh four-star pick tickets 
and then he also does have a melee power boost by 35% same condition as the lupus but uh, this is conditioned to when you have uh, health lower than 80% um, which is pretty doable if you are taking on t uh, the multi-mission solo um, most of the time you do get hit pretty pretty bad I would say and then you can get this bubble here over here so these are just two um, good free to play option over here if you guys do want these kind of EX go over here but nonetheless if you guys do have this and want to summon on it I wouldn't be opposed to it but do wait um let's continue but this one probably gonna be the best one to summon um just to get the alternation tool and um alternate it um the arm over here pretty good stuff breaking 10,000 which is already good any arm that breaks 10,000 like after the change gear is good so um this one does have a um shot a physical shot ex skill which i don't know why you will put it on a shot machine so if you guys do just want it purely for the stat i don't think this part is for you um because there's a tons of better part at this point if you guys are if you guys would want to art, alternate this arm you would have to sub slot something um, just to cover cover the um, portrait i mean you can do that nowadays easily with the one one to one to 100 alternation but that's that's wasting too much resources so um so this one is probably not the good arm to alternate um, quickly moving on to the leg over here um the leg set is poor all around so don't even bother alternating this guy uh, we have another one of those melee crits um melee crit does uh, at 30 percent right here it, it will kick in pretty often i would say um because i did have the what is it i did have one of these kind of portrait and when i was like doing this really melee um i do have crits kicking in pretty often but uh, it's not going to be too useful in like short events, probably more geared towards longer event, but otherwise this portrait is probably bad. Second portrait is good nonetheless, but the first portrait kind of ruins it, um, kind of kills a slot already. And best that all around, so this is probably not a good part to alternate, this one is a hot skip for sure. Alright, moving on to the back, we have a wolf uh, howl over here, which is a cutscene EX skill. Um, it's going to raise your speed by 20% as well as your melee and defense, so 39% and 19% to your squad, which is a pretty sizable buff over here. Um, Stat-wise, it's going to be <laughs> merely making it into the top top 20. But if you guys did summon on the Lucas Rex during the New Year's banner, um, <laughs> there's no point of really summoning or even getting this part over here. Um, because the Lupus Rex backpack, uh, the Tailblade, right? Yeah, okay, I remember now. The Tailblade. Um, have been set up 39 is up to 50% so that one is a better value if you have that one already um, so this one is like a boy like right out the bat so um, good work time nonetheless you have close combat and eh, Gundam type probably not for melee build but um, nonetheless if you guys do have this one and you have the tail blade of the lupus rex don't even bother with this guy over here but speaking of the melee weapon we do have two really um, in terms of the axe category we're looking at, um, this one will be a ranked number one melee weapon for that category. Uh, we do have a EX skill over here. Um, so we are, what are we doing over here? D pierce and A minus power, which is good. Also going to raise your melee defense by 24%. Um, Would have been better if this is for a um, melee attack. But this one, you can't really um, opt optimize this part because... Um, if you guys are doing melee builds, you would want the two of the same parts um, to get the full 30%, 30.5% um, change gear. But I mean, nowadays you have, uh, what is it, the 1 to, one to 100 skill, so that is more um, easily you can get, you can achieve that. But nonetheless, uh, if, you just, if you guys do just want this EX skill, don't, you, you don't even need to alternate it uh, because it's going to come in at B plus power um, before alternation alternation so it's which is pretty powerful already so there's really no point of alternating that so all right moving on to the dual saver category which is going to come in at rank one again which is um another week or like power creep is like whoosh yep so what are we doing over here all right the first portrait is really bad 26 percent chance of attacking attacks uh penetrating super armor which is not too good already and then when you attack in physical, EX could boost about 35%, which is good. Um, good war tag as well, but then again, the first part trait kind of kills it already, so there's really no point. Um, so overall, 
this whole kit on uh, the loop Barbados loopers probably the only good option is for the chest so this does not justify for you to summon on this uh, banner over here just to get the alternation tool because they're like I show you guys there's two uh, good free to play option where you can pay not, not really free to play but two good uh, four star option instead of this Sokai over here all right now we're gonna quickly move on to the Gundam Vendor. All right, as for the Gundam Vendor, um, if anyone has to ask what which part would you alternate of this kit, it's obviously gonna be the leg over here. We're just gonna quickly jump over to the leg first because this is probably um, the highly most anticipated alternation tool. <laughs> what alternation tool, what? Alternation uh, leg over here. So why? Because if you max everything out, look at this. I think this is the first time we've seen something like this. We have an A minus Pierce and an S power like combo. Like what? When is the last time you see something like this powerful over here? Like I think in my overall overview video, I was talking about this. Like I said, B power across the board. That was my bad. It was it was A. It was A. It, it was A across the board. Like Pierce and power being A. But look at this. This is uh, if you guys have to summon for the um, Gun of the Door banner just to. Alternate this like I wouldn't be opposed to it because this leg is really darn powerful. Um, it's gonna reach your speed by 20%, same condition as the uh, backpack casting E skill as the loop uh, Barbados Lupus. So, um, this right here is gonna be really really powerful over here. So, this part gotta alternate it. I'm um, just unfortunate the word tag is kind of bad, but then again, you're not gonna put it on your uh, main build anyway, so this will go onto your skin. So, that is a okay. Um, the other part, I'm just gonna quickly go over them because they're not too good of a stat anyway. So you're not gonna really run them as your main kit or your main build. We have the E type for the... Is it? Yeah, I'm not gonna pronounce <laughs> it. But anyways, you're gonna get a speed raise of 20%. And melee increase by 49%. And then your Rooney capacity up by 50%. So this one is the same um, effects as the Kamara's Madar. Literally the same thing. So if you guys have the commands with art, there's really no point of alternating this one over here because that is the same thing. Um, or type wise, you have Gundam type and high mobility, which is not going to be too good because um, Gundam type is more um, geared towards a shot build. So this head over here, don't even bother looking at it. Moving on down to the chest over here. Uh, ooh, whoa, am I seeing a flat static buff over here? So when you have high mobility active, EX skill damage taken reduced by 35%, not percent, just by a like static 35, uh, 30%, 35%, 35, oh my god, woof, yeah, so that is bad right up, that is totally bad. Um, the second part trait when buff, uh, EX skill power boosted by 35%. So that is, um, if I'm not mistaken, buffs is like when you activate those, like your, um, what is it, archer stand, combat stand, so it's like your buffs. I think this also takes to effects when you execute some kind of, some EX skill that has some, like, um, some kind of buff, some attack buff, or either, uh, either kind of buff, uh, this would trigger this, um, secondary, um, portrait, which is not gonna be too good. If you, if you come across EX skill that does not have any effects or you're not running any of those buffers, um, <laughs> this portrait right here is completely useless. Alright, uh, stat wise I'm not really gonna go over it uh, because it's really bad. So, uh, Moving on to the arm, uh, the arm does break 10k coming in at top 10. But then again, um, let's do take a look at the portrait first. Okay, what are we doing? Alpha jump, melee crit, uh, one of those crits right up again. Uh, do talk about this a lot already crit rate are not really too significant in this game so it's kind of it kind of kill a slot right off the bat already but a uh, second part trade before 60 second pass um really power boost by 35 percent this is good uh but this is um only for 60 seconds for that whole minute so after that um you're not gonna get that buff which if you if you are taking this arm to like a short event um i can i can see it's pretty good but if you are taking into like some multi missions, uh, most of the time it might take maybe longer than a minute. So this one is not gonna be a good option. What is the war tag? War tag? And, ooh, Gundam type and high mobility? No thanks. Um, I went over the leg ready. That is probably the only parts to really alternate. Okay, the backpack over here. Let's see what are we gonna do. Um, war tag is gonna be Gundam type and close combat again, which is not. Uh, Gundam type is not a ideal 
war tag for a melee build so this one is to skip as well um good first portrait already um you get a one year speed attribute uh melee power boost up by 35 uh, 30 percent which is pretty good and then you have the crit weight um <laughs> not gonna be too helpful so the backpack is known for alternation as well all right we're into the burst saber over here the melee category uh the saber category so this one is gonna come in at number two actually so how is the portrait over here when you have speed attribute job gauge increase boost by 17 percent and then when you have lake this is um specific to the lake only you skill power boost by 35 percent this is too restrictive over here and then uh, the top the top part here is not too it's not good at all um because if you guys have the left arm um of the change gear you, you of the left gear i don't even then you need this already because once when you start the battle um i think you come in at 80 percent of the job gauge full already so this is um all of us so bad first portrait and then it just kind of ruins it because like i said again um when portrait is bad um it just kind of ruins that whole slot so you can skip that all right the last weapon over here is gonna be the one uh 110 millimeter um rifle over here okay when you oh this is when your armor is only 80 percent or lower so you have to get hit first to get them um, this is only restricted to strong melee power as well ah oh, this is a bad and they crit crit buff again uh, no thanks so this one is bad bad war tag as well you can them type in high mobility Ugh. so overall do you want to summon on the uh gun of a dar banner no if you guys do have the leg already you can summon once you get the alternation tool if you guys are someone who have not um gotten the leg already don't summon it because um the rate is bad we can quickly hop over to the banner and see what we're dealing with but i think the rate are pretty bad right um you do get a lot of good uh, freebies over here let's see uh rate are five percent prime pool 16 uh should go up uh the rate is that's not increased so um you get okay so you get these little bonuses that this is you want to get this ticket over here uh once you summon five times which is gonna cost you 75 uh k horos so this is not good this is not good right here um, this one does give you alternation tool, which is I would say it's good, but nonetheless, uh, this is not gonna be the good banner seminar for this week. So, if you guys really need the material A, I think it's just best to summon on the first one over here, uh, the first pick a banner over here. Otherwise, um, probably wait for Friday, Thursday to see if they're gonna drop any surprise banner. So, with that being said, uh, hopefully this give you guys a better idea how the parts are in terms of ranking standings and like how like how the portrait are because i don't think the portrait are too particularly too good uh, the only two good one is probably going to be the uh, barbados lupus chest and then the gun of a dark leg other than that all the other parts is just no good so with that being said i will catch you guys on the next one